Hello everyone, my name is Finn Fontaine. Today we're going to be taking some tests or quizzes, whatever you want to call them, uh, basically figuring out how offensive I am or if I'm PC or not PC. I, I can already kind of guess some of the results I'm going to get. If you know my videos well enough, you can probably guess too, but you know, I've never taken tests or quizzes on, on this channel yet. The closest I've gotten to that was the last video, which was, um, uh, would you rather? Uh, so yeah, I, 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 why not? Um, let's go. All right, what I have here is how politically incorrect are you? How sensitive are you really? Are you on a PC crusade or are you just not sorry? Let's find out how politically incorrect you are by Playbuzz. Seems like a legitimate thing. I don't know if you could hear the fart, but... <laughs> what do you say to people in December? Happy holidays or season's greetings? Who the fuck says season's greetings? I always ask which holiday they celebrate and then wish them a happy one. No, that, I don't ask them. Merry Christmas or nothing, leave me alone. Okay, I always- if I- if I say anything, I say Merry Christmas. But a lot of times I don't really say Merry- I just don't really say anything. But yeah, Merry Christmas. You know, um... I understand not everyone celebrates Christmas, but if you actually get upset because I wish you a Merry Christmas, you can go fuck yourself. Like, if someone wishes, wishes me a Merry, uh, Merry, a, a Happy Hanukkah, um, I don't fucking celebrate Hanukkah, but I'll say thank you, you know, Happy Hanukkah to you too. Like, I, I, what the fuck would you get offended by that for? I find that stupid, so, Merry Christmas is what I say. Alright. And, do you find this photo offensive? No. Um, offensive? Why? Absolutely. Cultural appropriate is not okay. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. It's not offensive. <laughs> what do you say when you see your black best friend? Uh, the same thing I say to all my other friends. Yeah. Black best friend? Really? This question is politically incorrect. Who the f- How the fuck would that be politically? What do you say to your black best friend? Oh, God. Some people are really fucking retarded, dude. I don't have black friends. I have some black friends. Uh, yo, what up, homie? Well, I don't talk like that, so that's retarded. This question is racist. Why do you assume that I'm not black? They didn't assume that you're not black, you fucking bitch. They said you're black best friend. God, I fucking hate people. Um, I mean, I definitely don't have as many black be black friends as white friends, but I basically say the same thing. I, uh, you know. Um, don't worry, darling. You didn't burn the beer. <laughs> <laughs> What's your reaction to this old ad? This is actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's, yeah. What's wrong with this? Uh, yeah. Sex is not offensive. All right. Well, definitely not sex is not offensive. I'm gonna say this is actually kind of funny, because it is. Uh, and what about this job? <laughs> it's just funny, cause like, <laughs> all right. Uh, oh shit. Uh, completely racist or still kind of still kind of funny. Definitely. Um, would you ever ask someone how much they make? Uh, never, of course, or only a very close friend? Well, well, yeah, it depends on the scenario of how much, how much money they make. That has to do with political correctness. How the, what the fuck, the, the fuck you? Uh, I mean, definitely not never, but not also only a cl close friend, because I, I would ask other people if, if the time is right, if for some reason I wanted to know or needed to know. Sure, I'd just say of course. Uh, why not? I hit the wrong button. Okay. Did, did we, what are you doing? Go to of course. Of course! Go to of course! Hey, bitch! How do you use the word bitch? To refer to my best friend, obviously. Well, that one... Yeah. Um, um, to refer to a female dog. Okay, no one uses it like that. Um, I know that's the actual definition, but no one uses it like that. To refer to an obnoxious woman. Yeah, that's usually what I use the word bitch for. To refer to a difficult situation or problem. Okay, I use it for that a lot too. Or I don't use the word. Who the fuck doesn't use the word? Um, I use it for everything except for the female dog, really. So I'm going to say an obnoxious woman is probably what I most commonly use the word bitch for. Which is also fucking stupid. How is that off offensive? To Shut the fuck up. Fucking, I mean. Choose a Halloween costume. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? No, that's stupid. Um, so I can be Mexican guy, I can be Afro guy, I can be a witch, I can be a Muslim, or I can be an Indian. I'm gonna be the hilarious um, El Pacho guy over here, fucking Mexican, I don't know. <laughs> uh, lastly, what do you think of the- oh, that's so stupid. Um, it's fine, people need to relax, definitely. It's so stupid that people think that's fucking offensive. 
All right, let's find out my results. I bet I am the most PC, uh, just just a saint, you know. You're politically incorrect. Wow, you're totally politically incorrect. You don't understand why people seem to have so many feelings all of a sudden. Um, I don't really understand when everyone became such a pussy. Yeah. Um, okay. Did you hear that? Did you hear the noise? I, the uh, noise came through the... Uh, my computer. Okay. Uh, you love a good joke, no matter at whose expense, and you're an equal opportunity of defender or fender. Uh, you don't take things too seriously. Yep. And you're likely to think that life is too short to get worked up over every joke that could possibly be interpreted as offensive. Yes. You think being PC has gotten way out of control, or just out of control, and that free speech is under attack. Yes. You've got thick skin and a mischievous streak, which are a dangerous combination because you don't, which are a dangerous combination because you don't always realize when you're offending people. Yes. Oh my God. We recommend some much needed sensitivity training. Oh, fuck, fuck you, bitch. No. What do you, what do you think? Come on. Tell us exactly what you think. I think that I am not taking sensitivity training. Training. I am. Oh, you mean a woman can open. I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, that, uh, that was very accurate. That was very accurate. We've, we've time for one more. Yeah. So let's, let's take another test. I want to do another one. That was fun. You mean a woman can open it? Um, so they mean like the, if there's an ad about how easy the ketchup is open. How's that offensive? Women are weaker than men on average. I mean, I, I do think that most women can open a jar of ketchup, but the, their point, I mean, back then, maybe the fucking ketchup was hard to open. See that? I don't understand how that's offensive. I just don't, I could not even, like, I could not even perceive that in any situation as offensive. It's just not offensive. How offensive are you? By quotive. Qu quotive or dot com. All right, how offensive are you? You are tanning. What? You are tanning? Question mark. Okay. No, because tanning is offensive to white people. No, because tanning is offensive to black people. No, because tanning is offensive to the sun. Tanning isn't offensive. I think this one, this quiz might be a joke, but I'm gonna say tanning isn't offensive. Uh, you are existing when someone else exists in your airspace. What do you do? I let them exist. It's yeah, it's a joke. Okay, you know, it's funny, but I just, I'm looking for legitimate ones right now. I like um, the ones that, like, are you actually the worst? Okay. By bu oh, by BuzzFeed. Wow. We got some real fucking uh, uh, intelligent people over here. These aren't biased human beings. These aren't... PC retards. All right. Have you ever cut someone in line? I have. I'm, I'm guilty of that. I don't normally do that, but there have been scenarios where I have. Um, parked over line, thus making the parking spot next to you un unusable. No, I mean, when I was first learning how to drive, it was a little bit difficult, but I always made sure I was in the line, so. Intentionally taking up two parking spaces. I can't say that I have. Oh, well, why did I check off parked over line? The fuck am I? Parked in a space that doesn't... I, to cut someone online, I don't normally do that, really. I'm not... But, like, in certain situations where, like, some retard's not moving or something, I, I have. Yeah, I'm guilty. Intentionally taking up two... Sp oh, parked in a space designated handicapped even though you were able-bodied. No, I haven't done that. No, not through. Uh-uh. Yeah, not me. Not me. Regularly showed up more than 10 minutes late, thus leaving people... Re regularly? I've showed up late before, but not regularly. Regular show them in 20. No. FFS, 30 minutes late? I don't know what FFS stands for. I don't know. I never know these terms. Ask a woman if she's pregnant. Have I ever asked a woman if she... I would, but... Have I? I think I have. When I was young. I think I did. Just assumed a woman is pregnant. Oh, sure. Yeah. Talk shit about someone's wedding? Yeah. <laughs> Talk shit about someone's baby or child. <laughs> yeah, I've fallen victim to that. All right. God, I guess I'm a piece of shit in BuzzFeed's eyes. Done either of those things a way that could make it possible for that person to be in disgust to see or hear it? Yep. Found yourself saying, I'm just saying. Yes. Yes. Said you're brutally honest or speak the truth. Yes. I'm just saying. How the fuck is that offensive? Enjoy just playing devil's advocate. I know it makes me retarded, but I don't know what that means. I, I do kind of, I don't know, I've heard the term, I, I, I don't really, you know, I'm searching that. What does it mean? A person who expresses a conscientious, oh wait, a continuous opinion uh, in order to provoke debate or test the strength of the opposing arguments. 
Oh. Yes, I have done that in certain scenarios. I'm not like the guy who wants to start it, but once you start with me, I will purposely... Uh, th yeah, I'll go, I'll go for it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Devil's Advocate. We're right here, baby. I am the Devil's Advocate. <laughs> um, follow an offensive statement with no offense. I have done that when I was really young. I think I said it one time. I don't normally say it because I don't really care a lot of times. Usually when I say something that could perceive it, be perceived as offensive, I felt right in saying it, so I don't really say that. I guess BuzzFeed actually think that's more offensive to say no offense, which is fucking retarded. I, but I guess what they really mean is, have you ever said a statement that you would need to say that? But I actually give a fuck so little that I don't say that, so I'm not checking that off. Refuse to give a bus less train seat for a pregnant slash elderly or disabled person? No, I would, I would give up my seat. I don't think I've ever had to, but I would. Uh, or just a person carrying a ton of bags and or a child who could really use the seat. Yeah. Not held to open the door for people. No, I always hold open the door. Only held to open the door for some people. What does that mean? I mean, I typically hold it over for everyone, so I don't, I don't need really, some in hyphen. Ooh. Uh, not said thank you. Or hyphen, is that right? Is it? God, when I, rec I record a video, my IQ goes down by fucking 30 points at least. Uh, at least, yeah, I'm thinking more like 60. At least, dude. I, I recorded a video, I get so dumb. Um, but no, I, I, I always hold the o door open for everyone. Not said thank you when someone held the door for you. No, I do that. I always say thank you. Got on a bus or train before everyone has exited. Typically, no, I don't. Uh, force your way into a train car during rush hour when there is clearly no room and we know this recorded. <laughs> uh, just read it. No. I don't usually do that. Sat with your knees spread wide on the bus or train. Uh, I kind of always spread my knees really wide. It's just... I mean, I don't... But no, I, I don't want to take up other people's space. I guess I do. I don't know. Got invisibly annoyed at a crying baby on an airplane. No. I've only been on an airplane like once though, so... Cut someone off when driving and then slow down. No. Fuck people like that. Um, sped up when you saw that someone was trying to pass you and refuse to let them over. No. Not use your turn signal. No, the fuck, if you don't fucking use your turn signal, you're fucking stupid. Because here's what happens when you don't use your turn signal, alright? 99% of the time, the people behind you say, what the fuck, asshole? And they didn't know you are turning. But what if you're about to make a turn, and then you go to hit your brakes to slow down, the guy behind you doesn't know because you didn't have your turn signal on, and then he slams into the back of you, you swerve over, you go into oncoming traffic, you get hit by a fucking truck, your head is flat, and you kill the guy behind you. I mean, just use your fucking turn signal. Why don't why don't people want to use their turn? I don't get it. I don't get it. I always use a return signal. Call another driver a nasty name. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I did that. I've done that a lot of times. Um, I just don't. I I'm I'm quick to tell somebody to go fuck themselves if they're fucking with me. Um, just the other day, actually, my mom was driving. Someone honked at her for no reason. So it was some other lady, and I I I uh, put my window down. And I said, "Go fuck yourself, bitch." So <laughs> yeah, I've done that. Snap your fingers to get a server's attention. No, that's cunty. Uh, referred to his server as boy. I have in a joking manner going, hey, boy! Like, not to him, but saying it to other people. But no, and, yeah. Intentionally not tipped your server. Yes. I did do that recently, but it was the worst fucking server who's ever existed. It, I'm not gonna get into it, but they didn't deserve a tip. Tip 10% for good service. I don't know. Not called your parents because it's a drag or you're too busy. Well, I've been too busy, but I, sure. I mean, didn't clean up after yourself. And I typically call my parents, but didn't clean up. Every, no, I clean up after myself. Fuck, the video's getting long already. Didn't clean up after yourself. Oh, refer to someone using a nickname they hate. Yeah, I've done that. Refuse to call someone by their preferred name. I've done that when it's been a retarded thing for attention. I have done that. <laughs> I guess I'm a piece of shit, huh? Continue to pronounce someone's name wrong. You have to think. No, I typically pronounce it wrong. Uh, uh, right. I usually call someone what they want to be called, but in certain scenarios when someone- it, it, Actually, I've only done it towards people who are fucking ass wipes themselves. I don't do it just to be ignorant. I, no, I'm not like that, but I have done it to attention whore, um, ignorant people. I have done that, yeah. Criticize another person's body. Um, or criticize- okay, well, uh, I skipped one. What someone else is eating? Yes. Criticize another person's body. I was gonna say to them or behind their back, but I've done both, so, yes, I mean- so when I say I've done both, some people go, oh, he's, he, he's told someone that they're ugly. Yes, I have. I've called people fat and everything, but that's only when they're ignorant to me. That's what I, 
I, people don't seem to understand sometimes, I've never criticized someone's body to them uh, unprovoked. I mean, they have to get ignorant with me in order for me to do that, or ignorant to somebody else, or something like that, but I've never done it for no reason. But yeah, I've done it. Criticize the other person's clothes, yes. Done either of those things in a way that can make it possible for the other person to see it, yes. <laughs> Made a joke at someone else's expense. Yes, depending on the scenario. In a public setting, yes. While the person is present, yes. Made a joke that made someone upset and then said, I was just kidding, told them to line up. Yes, I have done that a lot of times. Said, sorry if you're offended instead of sorry. Sorry if you're offended instead of I'm sorry. How the fuck? Oh, my voice cracked. God, my... I just was just at uh, Rock Allegiance two days ago. Uh, screaming my ass off, especially um, when like Five Finger Death Punch came on, Rob Zombie, and uh, what was the other gun? Uh, Beartooth, I was screaming a lot. Blew my voice out a lot. My voice was completely gone that day. I was screaming really loud. Um, which I do quite often anyway, but... Um, no, I don't typically say that because it's stupid, but how the fuck is that more offensive? Through someone who didn't want to go into something put into a bullet. Yeah. Rate a woman on a scale of 1 to 10. Yes! Okay, now here's something I would like to address. So you say you don't rate women on a scale of 1 to 10, or you never have. For one, I think you're a lying fucking retard. I, or, I think you're full of shit. But... How the fuck is it offensive to rate a woman on a scale of 1 to 10? I rate everything on a scale from 1 to 10. I mean, like, that's like when somebody asks you, like, what your girlfriend looks like or something like that, if they ask you, you, like, the first thing you say is a number. Who the fuck doesn't do that? And how is it offensive? I mean, if you, if a girl walks in the room and she asks me what number she is, I can give her a number. I can always give you a number. I mean, I don't tell them, hey, did you know you're a three? Like, no, I'm, but, um, if someone asked, I would, but, I mean, I don't fucking- how the fuck is that offensive? I mean, you can rate me on a scale from 1 to 10. I'm rateable. I mean, I'm obviously a 10, but- <laughs> I'm joking. I'd probably say I'm a- I don't know, but <laughs> you could rate me, okay? You could rate me out of 10. It's totally possible. And why is it more offensive to rate a woman on a scale from 1 to 10 than a man? Um, but, you know, I only see the women thing. But if you're a woman, you get offended by it, fuck you, you know? Uh, look, the reality is- I don't pick on people for it, I don't point it out for no reason. But there are people who are uglier than other people, and there are people who are better looking than other people. Everyone's rateable on a scale from 1 to 10. It's fucking... I, I, I'm going too much of a rant, I don't have a lot of time, so let's just go on. Made fun of someone for being a virgin. No, that's fucking retarded. If you're a virgin, don't fall into peer pressure and listen to people. Don't think you have to lose your virginity instantly. It is not a fucking burden. Lose it whenever the fuck you want. If someone's making fun of you for it, punch them in the throat and then kick their fucking teeth in when they're on the ground. People are pieces of garbage for that. No one deserves to get made fun of that. It's a fucking retarded thing to get made fun of for. And don't, don't fucking listen to people for that. That is bullshit. Uh, mock the hobby that a lot of people enjoy. Well, yes. Who the fuck hasn't done that? Left a mean comment on the internet? Yeah, I've done that. Sent a mean email. Yeah. Left some an anonymous note. I have. Insulted someone on Twitter, Facebook, or Insta. I have done that. Written something nasty about a celebrity. In oh, fuck yeah. Told someone they look tired or sick. I have told someone, I have told people like that only when they've been ignorant and they're being a dick to me. Um, shared something someone told you in confidence just because you wanted to. No, I keep secrets pretty well. I, I I don't do that shit. Taking credit for someone else's idea, I don't. I do not like that shit. You're a piece of garbage if you do that. I told someone to calm down. Yes, and that's apparently offensive too. But I, you know what? I do get pissed off when people tell me to calm down when I'm actually totally calm. That is frustrating. Yeah. How much longer is this? Okay, we're almost done. God damn it! Twenty minutes. I didn't want to record for that long. Yelled something rude at a person asking for money. No, I haven't really done that. Told someone with an accent to just speak English. No, I haven't really done that. Told people you're not politically correct. Yes, I've done that a lot. Yes, I am not politically correct. Start a sentence, I'm not racist, but... I'd probably start a sentence with that, but then again... When I say something that some people perceive as racist, I just don't give a fuck. I say it, you know? So I don't feel the need to say that, so I don't say it. I'm not se Same thing, I, I'm not sexist, but... I don't feel the need to say it, because fuck you if you're offended, you know? Eating someone else's food from the office for it. No, I don't do shit like that. Alright, show me my results. You got- you're kind of a dick. You don't kick puppies, but you have some pretty dick- dicklish tendis- dickish tendencies. Thinking about others would- more would- what the fuck? You don't kick puppies, but you have some pretty dickish tendencies. Thinking about others more would probably make you more pleasant to be around, so maybe give that a try. Fuck you! I see- I hate that because I'm actually an extremely compassionate person. To be honest, and I think a lot about other people. And I actually made posts about this before, like, I- people confuse my, um... My 
uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My, um, a bra- uh, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? My way of speaking, my, I have a very, I guess, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Abrasive, I guess. I guess, eh, nah, that's not really the right word. But, but I have a way of speaking, I guess, that when I'm saying something that I believe is right, that I really do believe in, I don't really care about what retard is going to get all offended. I'm set, like, you know, a lot of people think the word retard is offensive. You know, I think that's stupid and I just don't care. Um, but I actually care a lot about other people. I have my whole life. I always, I actually care a lot more about other people than I do myself. I am like that. But also, I do speak my mind and I do say the truth. And when someone's going to get offended by that, they have to deal with it. You know, fuck it. So, uh... I mean, I guess I'm a dick if you think that, you know, I have to be, Oh, I'm sorry that offends you. I'm so so (laughs) sorry. Like, if the word comb all of a sudden became a a hate term, you know, I'm gonna still gonna say it, so... That's stupid. But anyways, um... God, my ass hurts. I got bit by a wolf spider earlier today. And it stings pretty bad. I actually... (laughs) I put him in a cup. Um, you see, I was sitting there and my ass started stinging, right? And not, not stinking, stinging. And, um, you know, I ran to the bathroom and dropped my pants and this little fucker fell out. Um, he's all crumpled up and stuff now because he's dead. He all rolled up and he, when he, he was bigger. Um, but yeah, I got bit by a wolf spider in my ass. So that, that kind of hurts. Um, but anyways, oh, you know what? One note. You see this fucking thing? This is going to pop up in a lot of my future. But you know what? You know what? 24 minutes, we don't have time for this. I'm sorry. If you want to know about this, put it in the comments. I'll answer it in the next video because I'm running out of time. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. If you do comment, I will answer because, I, as I always say, I love hearing comments and I have absolutely no life, so I will answer you. Um, I am think I'm making more videos like this in the future. I'm going to remember that I probably don't have time for two quizzes or tests. I did it again, 25 minutes. Oh, fuck me. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next video. By the way, you probably noticed that this video is different. I spent some time setting up lighting, and I forgot my green screen when I came here, so I just hung up a blanket on the ceiling. <laughs> but, you know what? It looks better. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video, and as always, have a fantastic day. <laughs> How do you know that we day night slowly got into the... You back with the night? Okay, so it's asking if we'd rather have a nail hammered through every joint of my fingers rather lose your genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> what is that?